Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Sim World 2 video. We're back on the South Eastern High Speed. I know we've been on it quite a few times in terms of videos. But obviously there was a new update which only released today on the 2nd of March. Uh, so I thought we'd do a video basically covering what is new. Because it's really just that most of it is just South Eastern High Speed. The majority of the update. So the first one we're going to have a little look at is the new 375. The way it looks on the sort of um, starting screen. So let's quickly have a look at that. And we'll also then have a look at the trophies for the 465. Which have now sort of been made public. So let's have a little look. Right, so obviously you can see here they have sorted out a few bits. Um, obviously the 375 before you could actually sort of, it almost, uh, you could select the livery for it. And I believe that was actually for four car and eight car variants of it, but now it's just all in one. So you get all of the services, all of the 375 services now just in one list, uh, which is much easier as well. So we're going to have a look at the trophies for the 465, obviously to the capital, operate the 465 for 200 miles. Uh, no time to wait, reach a speed of 75 miles per hour in the class 465. Uh, over time, complete 10 services using the class 465. And we're going on to the next one, network expansion. Complete the 465 scenario, temporary contract. I'm guessing that will be for the Faversham one. Training complete, complete the 465 introduction training module. Right, so uh, there's a little look at the 375 sort of fix and also to the 465 trophies. And now we're going to have a little run in the Javelin as they have actually fixed an issue with the third rail shoes. So they were clipping through the tracks. And of course the bear has to go off. So we're going to get going on this. Let's get this all sorted. And also the TPWS, I believe. Obviously there's a problem just outside of Faversham where it wasn't actually sort of working. Where it would um, trip you and then you would come to an emergency stop. So that should now be fixed as well. So let's get going and hopefully we won't get stopped. And we'll have a look at the third row as well. But for anyone who didn't see, I probably, I might have made a video for this yesterday. Um, obviously they've updated some billboards to show the new Black Whip Medway 2025 advertisements. Which we might see one of them. Fixed an issue with the TPWS activating when an incorrect route was set. Timetable formations have now been adapted to make use of the 465. Fixed an issue with the third rail shoes clipping through the track on the 395. Fixed an issue that would result in hearing a cab rattle in a passing train. Uh, fixed uh, updated the character selection so the driver is wearing the right outfit for the route. Improved the tutorial for the 395 in French and German. So there are the fixes for South East and High Speed. But there's also coming out of here the TPWS used to trip. I don't know if it's going to do it. Hopefully it won't. But it used to do it and it used to come to an emergency stop. Literally here. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that's been sorted now. Has it been sorted? Okay, so yeah, that problem has been sorted. I don't want to jinx it. Yes, yeah, so now there is no sort of TPS, TPWS problems coming out of Faversham, uh, which is um, very good news because that was really annoying. Obviously, affecting the service. So yeah, let's have a little look. Uh, let's see about the shoes clipping through the third row. Yeah, that's been sorted now. So it used to clip through. That's sorted. Okay, good. So they have sorted the shoes out as well. That's not too bad then. Um, but yeah, let's just get into it. Hopefully everyone is having a good day today. Uh, we'll go as far as probably rain them on this service, which is around 10-15 minutes. As we've sort of got the main bit out of the way about talking about the update. And also there's a couple of fixes for the Northern Trans Pennine as well. Obviously fixed an issue with Scenario Planner. That would, uh, that would result in incorrect or blocked paths. Fixed a variety of localization and translation errors. Errors? Errors. Uh, so yeah, I might have done a video for this already. So you might already know about this. Uh, we've also got fixed an issue with the map buttons in Scenario Designer. Fix an issue that would use the incorrect loco name when given rewards. Fix an issue that would result in duplicate entries in the scenario planner formation list. Added pin 18 of the US standard 27 pin jumper cables to the simulation model. Changed the alerter button for rail driver to be reset alongside gamepad safety systems. And the rail driver menu now shows correct control localization. So they were all the fixes uh, which will probably come out on the update on the 2nd of March. Obviously this will be going live on the 3rd of March, this video. Uh, but yeah, I might have done a video yesterday, basically just telling you all of this. But now we actually get to see it. Obviously the fixes on South Eastern. 
So we shouldn't now, well, we shouldn't be able to hear the rattling in the passing train cab, which I don't think I did get before. Um, it seems that's been sorted. But yeah, let's just get onto the video. So yeah, we're taking the service up to Raynham. Uh, that's how far we're going to be going. It should be around 10 minutes, 10 15 minutes. Just a nice, simple run showing off the javelin as it's now sort of fixed in a way. Anyway, we should soon be going through Tenham. The speed is 85. So what does everyone actually prefer going in? Well, now when you're driving the 375, do you prefer stopping at Tenham and Newington, or do you just prefer whizzing straight through? So obviously I believe it's the Dover services which actually do stop at uh, Tenham and Newington. It's like the 1S ones. And obviously Tenham as well. Gone up to 90. I'm not really a big fan of driving the Javelin though anymore. Um, it just sounds 80 in the background. The sort of you can't hear the motors as well as well. Which is as well as you used to be able to. So I think I do probably prefer driving the 375 now on this route. Was quite nice when it was quiet in a way you know just sort of sitting back in the javelin nice and quiet just nice and relaxed let's get a flyby shot we may as well I know a few people will want one so just a six car unit Start slowing down shortly. There's the 85. Alright, you can see sitting ball coming up now. So we've got a 375 here. It goes back up to 90. I mean, is there any point of it coming down to 85 for the tiniest bit of section? No oh, idea why it does come down. Just around this corner and we'll be into Sittingbourne. Probably have slowed it down a bit early. Yeah, it'll be alright for now. Lovely. Beautiful looking train. If you are watching this far into the video, I put Sittingbourne into the comment section. And say big thanks if you are. Just right, now, we definitely did slow down a bit early. But we should still be arriving on time here at Sittingbourne. So that's all good. We'll be stopping just for the old footbridge. Why is that on? Hang on a second, why is that on? It seems the update has turned on the objective marker for some reason. Well, actually, no. No, it hasn't. That was uh, from yesterday's video. Um, where we turned it on at the very end just to see what it was actually telling us to do. So no, that hasn't happened. Nice station, sitting born. So we are arriving a couple of minutes late, or about a minute late. But I mean, that's nothing major. Oh no, we did arrive on time. 11.08 we arrived, but although it says we're late. Look at that though, I mean, just look how sleek that is. 
<laughs> that is that is nice. I don't know any, I don't know who could say that doesn't look nice. Just look at that going down there. It's lovely. Now we wait. Yes, yeah, so we'll go as far as rain them on this uh, on this service. So, so yeah, we're primarily just checking out. Um, you know, and obviously if you have just joined us, yeah, you will notice the third row is no longer clipping through. It's looked really weird before, where it sort of just clipped through the third row. It's now sorted, uh, which is uh, which is good. Get the door shut. I think we're we'll listening to this from the outside. And we're off. Let's go. Oh, hello. Lovely. In fact, I might take another screenshot of that. Let's keep the sun on the side there. It's not too far to rain them. And we're trying to find a... No, it's not Black Medway. It's Back Medway 2025. I thought it said Black Medway. Back Medway. Okay, well, we'll try and find one of those billboards as well. We might have already gone past one. We might have even seen one. Um... Yeah, they should be on there. I'm just trying to think where the billboards are. I think most of them are at St Pancras. No, they're not at St Pancras. No, we might have even seen one at Sittingbourne, but we'll try and have a look at Rainham. If we can find any sort of billboards. I don't think there's any at Gillingham. Yeah, we'll have a little look. So I'm guessing timetable formations have now been adapted to make use of the 465. Does that mean... Oh, I'm trying to think. Does that mean... Because obviously we only saw obviously the one list of the 375. So maybe it's all four car ones and now going to be the 465? Not too sure. Or maybe they've adapted the timetable to make allow maybe more time. Because obviously the 3, 465 is a bit slower. I don't know. No clue. Obviously they probably will explain tonight if they're streaming. Comes down to 70 coming up. There's a 70 board, so it'll be round to Newington. Another good question for you guys in chat, well, obviously do put it in the comments section, what is your favourite station on the route? I mean, the thing is, I always say, oh, that one's probably my favourite station. Next stream, I'm like, actually, no, maybe that one's my favourite station. I just, I don't have a favourite station. I like them all equally as much. I mean, I probably, uh, I don't really like the high speed ones, to be honest. I kind of like these more countryside type ones, but... Yeah, they're all good stations in their own way. Well, this is Newington round here. Got a service in there. What's that? No, that's a... No, that's a four car, so you still can do four and eight car, three, seven, fives. So, yeah, they might have just adapted something. Maybe, yeah, a couple of changes to the times or something. along here
not far to rain them, not far at all. Obviously, hopefully everyone has enjoyed. I'd still leave a thumbs up if you are enjoying the um, enjoying the video. And one thing, I swear soon enough we should be getting the Long Island Railroad bug fixes because there's a whole of them, all to the M7, the M3. There's a whole ton of Long Island Railroad fixes. So I'm just wondering when are they going to be coming out? Surely soon. So I think they must be quite important because there's so many of them. And they're fairly major as well. But yeah, can't wait for the 465. Obviously, this will be going out on Wednesday. Uh, we will be streaming the 465 basically in our way tonight. Um, obviously, it comes out at midnight. So we'll be streaming it then. So do pop in, say hi. Or watch it on the rerun in the morning. But we will be streaming throughout the day. Right, this is rain that we're coming into. We've got another serve search and we should be able to see if you can hear the rattling sound in the cab. But I suppose as it's stationary, we probably won't hear that. I didn't hear anything anyway. There's a six car stop. Here we are. Let's get the doors open. But anyway, that is going to be it, everyone, for today's Train Some World 2 video. Obviously, hopefully, everyone did enjoy. Just taking a look, really. Oh, yes, Black, uh, what was it, Back Medway. Are there any billboards here? Uh, so, yeah, if you do have a look at the billboards around the around the route you might see back medway on there here we are here's one of the new boards back medway uk city of culture 2025 bid there you go that's one of the new uh billboards uh, which have been added onto the route uh but yeah that is going to be it, everyone thanks all for coming in why are we shaking about so you'll find the link in the description to the discord server and to the paypal if you do want to help support the channel on screen right now you'll see the new limited edition f7 top Go and get it before it's gone. Uh, obviously, it's ten percent off using CR10 uh, until the 18th of March. So it's a couple of weeks now. Uh, also, you'll see all of our classic merch on screen now as well. Well, that is going to be it. Thanks all for coming in. Do leave a like. Do subscribe if you are new, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone, and take care.